my channel I do hope you're doing well right we are in Black Friday week Black Friday is basically when you get all your presents and bits and bobs for the house for Christmas I made sure I went there just before lockdown to get stocked up and well I can't remember how many bags we done for autumn but I was quite happy with the four bags that I managed to pick up on the little bit of stock that they had left. So yes, we do have four big bags of all Christmas goodies and I cannot wait to just get started with this because these are the final little bits that we need before I can film the room tour and the house tour. So yes, so that you can get the room tour and the house tour, which I believe will be up just before this i think there'll be the two videos before this as i say but the week of black friday we're having back to back hauls my lovelies every single day of the week actually to be honest what's the date today the date today is friday the 20th of november so from tomorrow saturday the 21st you will be getting seven no you're basically getting me from this saturday all the way through to next sunday every single day you're probably not going to like it. You're probably going to be sick of my face by the end of it. But hey, I love shopping. I love Black Friday. Let's get the deals. Let's get all the Christmas festivities. And I need to stop rambling because we've got a haul to get into. Get comfy and let's see what HomeSense have got. <laughs> right. I'm going to start with this huge bag that I believe only has one thing in. Yes. Right. I saw this. It was as soon as you walked in. I'm gonna get glitter everywhere. I just know it, but I want to show you guys. This was only $9.99. Let's get it out. I mean, can you even see that? Look at the size of that. It's a light up illuminating tree, battery powered. We ain't got to plug it in anywhere. But let's try and show you guys. It's a very rustic rattan snow flock style and I just thought this will go perfect with the new tree that we've got and as I say got a little battery pack so I cannot wait to put this around the house I haven't got a clue where it's going yet but as I say when I buy these things I don't really have in mind where they're gonna go I just think yes I need them and when I picture myself in my own house my own place I see that probably on a windowsill but I don't want it on a windowsill in here it's either gonna go in our room or could it go in the back room? No, because that tree's took up too much of the room. As I say, you would have seen from the house tour and the room tour where I would have put these. But for now, we're just we're just gonna guess, shall we? Right. So that huge bag was just for that. But I think for $9.99, I just couldn't say no. They did do one which was just plain like wood rattan if you didn't like the snow flock effects, but Yes, I absolutely love the snow flock, as you'll tell from my Christmas trees. Right, what one? Let's go for this one next, shall we? Oh! I say, because it's been a good few weeks while we've been in lockdown, I forgot what we've got. <gasps> oh, God. You know the obsession that me and mum have with gonks? But I haven't got a gonk like this. This beauty... She was only three ninety nine, and oh bless, it's a little gonk, but she's on her little sleds. She's got her little skis. There she is. She's got her little plaits. Oh, I just oh. you can have a whole gonk family, my darling. Oh, how cute is she? For three ninety nine, she's got her little pigtails in. Oh my gosh, you could literally just sit on my bed because I've got teddy bear bed covers as you would have seen and the reverse of them pure white so it looks like she's just chilling there in the snow <gasps> and she's in tartan you know i love a bit of tartan right what have we got in here <gasps> i see something sparkly i think this was a mama g find yes this my lovelies was da -da -da, 3 99 once again and it's just this gorgeous white white almost silver sparkle little penguin not really much more to say about that but that i know exactly where that's gonna go so i'm not gonna let you in on that little secret just yet because that is the one thing that i know is definitely gonna go somewhere what oh. 
Oh my God, I need to get these right. I've been doing flower arrangements this Christmas. Well, not really flowers. They're like pine cones. You would have seen when I picked them up at the garden center. I've got loads of pine cones. We found loads of twigs and little bits that we bought last year. But I really wanted potpourri to put in the vases. So I picked up this pack of Christmas cookies. Yes, Christmas cookie scented potpourri. If I remember correctly, I think this was $4.99. Yep, $4.99. It's supposed to be nine quid, so you get four quid off. But, yes, Christmas cookies. And I can smell this through the wrapper. And I think I'm just going to slot this in with the vases, in amongst the pine cones and the berries. And then it'll bring even more festive smells to the house. Because as soon as you walk in my house, on the back of our door is a little like, well, you would have seen it by now. What am I talking about? I've hung a gingerbread sachet on the back where our little bells are. And then there's candles, there's diffusers, there's everything everywhere. There's oils on the pine cones that we got from the garden center as well. So yes, the house is a sweet cinnamon cookie baking, Christmas smelling house of goodness. And I'm not mad about it. I love the house smelling like this. And I wish it could smell like this all year round. Right, what is this? Because it's wrapped up and I can't remember feeling the shape of this. I don't know. Oh, yes, I do know. Yay! Oh my God, I'm so excited. Right, let's be careful. Well, I don't want to break it before I even get it out. Oh my God, this is going straight in my room as well. But actually, I think, no, I think mum's going to fight me for this. This was $7.99. I finally got a little nutcracker. He is so cute. So obviously, he's like white and silver. Just quite blingy. As I say, he's got a sparkly little top. His arms are all sparkly. But yes. Oh my God. How cute are you going to look sitting possibly with a penguin? I just love it. And I think, does his, oh, yes, there's a little lever at the back. Hello. Oh my God. Yes, I will amuse myself for hours with this, just sitting there, pulling his little lever and having a conversation with my little nutcracker. I mean, why not? If you can't enjoy yourself this Christmas, when can you? Right, I feel like we're speeding through this. Right, I'm going to leave the last bag. That's quite jam-packed. But is there only one thing in this as well? Right, I got quite a few big things from Home Sense. So, this is the only thing, oh no, in this bag as well. <gasps> yes, I remember this. This was 9 99 And as I say, because we're going on like the tree, the rustic vibe, you're probably thinking, what the hell is that? It is like a little circular tree you know like the trees that go up but it's all pine cones fir berries just everything festive and my idea with this is i'll put it next to one of the vases and then i'm just gonna like sprinkles or like spritz flick whatever i can do with the oils spray it with like some oils oh my god or i could spray it with diluted to flora i've still got some mandarin and cranberry from my speed clean <gasps> Yes, I just love this for £10 as well. I thought this would actually be really nice as well if you was having people around. Or, I don't actually know what's happening at the moment. I think they are going to lift the COVID rules over Christmas for a certain period and let, I think, is it three or four households come together? I'm not entirely sure. But this would be such a nice little, like, centrepiece in the table, you know? If you're going for that, like, rustic vibe or just natural... I love that. For £9.99... That was coming straight home with me. That and the tree were the first things that I saw. So the trolley was like half filled before we'd even started going around. Right. Oh, no, my little nutcracker's just falling over. We are saving the best bag for last. Because you know me, I can't go anywhere and not get snacks or food. I just can't help myself. So, what do we start with? Because there is a lot of food. Oh, I think I see candles as well. Come on. Do you think I could go home since and not pick up a candle? Do you really know me? <laughs> right. So, 
Yes, you would have seen these in the last HomeSense and I think I picked them up in TK Maxx as well. The Clavers. Authentic Greek pastries with nuts and honey. These are 2 49 for four. Oh my God, if you love baklavas, these are in their own little individual wrappings. You get two per little thing. Oh my God, they are divine. They're going straight by the coffee machine. And just because I love them that much, so they was with nuts and honey. I also picked up the original ones, $1.99 for four. And these are with pistachio and honey. So I've got me pistachio and honey baklavas and I've also got my nuts and honey. So yes, I think I probably demolished the last lot. Once I had one packet, it was gone within like the day. Or was it over the weekend? No, because I opened them on a Saturday. Yeah, they was gone by Saturday night. So I have been waiting to be able to get them again. And now I've got eight, so I'm very happy. Right. Oh God. <laughs> This is why I shouldn't be allowed. And mum knew as soon as I saw these, I weren't picking it up for the food. Well, I kind of was, but these are great little gifts as well, guys. I mean, like, if you've got someone you don't know what to give them, or you know they have a little bit of a sweet tooth, or they like a bit of cake and biscuits, get these. At Christmas time, I love, love, love shortbread. The only other time I would normally eat shortbread is, you know, when you go to the hotels and you get the little biscuits by the tea and coffee station. But, Christmas time, gotta have me shortbread. This was $2.99 and it's from the brand Campbell's, Campbell of Scotland. And they are just pure butter shortbread fingers, but they're in these gorgeous little tins. So, you know, of course they had loads, so I've had to pick up a few. This one is the Christmas tree. And then I saw this one and I was like, no, I've got to get this. I also picked up the little cat with the ball ball. I mean, come on. How great are these, like stocking fillers, you've got a secret Santa, you know, someone at work likes a nice little biscuit with their tea or coffee. You can't go wrong, for $2.99, and then for $3.99, we pulled out the big boy. So this is again Campbell's, but this is, I think your pure butter shortbread shapes. So it shows you on the back there, so you get a little assortment of shapes for the biscuits, but guys, are you ready to see the front? Oh my God. Scottish wild kittens. Have you seen anything more fitting? I mean, like, come on. That could be Morris. If he lost a bit of weight, you would have seen him the speed clean. Morris is kind of my kitty in heaven reincarnated. And he's our neighbour. Well, the people at the bottom of the garden, he's their cat, but we've kind of adopted him. But yes, he's not exactly the slimmest of cats as you would have seen when i lifted him and called him chunk chunk he was not impressed with me but yes i think these are such great gifts i mean will i be giving them as gifts i don't know i might just get carried away and want all the shortbread for myself but it's the thought it's the thought that counts i had the thought to give them to someone and then i just wanted to give them to my belly so hey ho right oh my god we got some more like gift guide sweet types, but I can't wait. I'm sorry, we're gonna have to get onto the good things. Is it a home sense haul if I don't get a candle or three? And you would have seen, I clearly do not need any more candles, but hey ho, here we are with, I think three more candles. Classic DW Home, this one was 2 dollars Oh, crisp apple. And I mean, it's red, it's festive, it's just fabulous. Couldn't, couldn't not go in the trolley. I just couldn't help myself. And then moving on from that, oh, there's, I thought there was three candles. Maybe there's only two. And I can't remember what else was wrapped up. Right, what did I get in the big boy one? Let's have a look. Oh, yes. It all comes flooding back to you when you're unwrapping it. This, right. This is from Sand and Fog and it's winter pine scent. Now, I'm not normally a pine type of person, I'm not gonna lie, but this one is very subtle, but almost, it's gonna sound so silly, it's more a fresh air smell than a pine smell. So I thought, yes, this was 
you've just got your S and F on there. It's green, so it's going to match with the red because my idea is to put these two together. But remember how on the autumn ones, I'm a sucker for a good lid. We had the gold apple one, we had the little wooden rustic one with the pumpkin on top. And you know my love for gonks. I just had to have it. I mean, come on. How adorable is that? And once again, yes, when I burn them, I normally will sit them on the little top like that. And then once it's all burnt out, I will probably, I'll get mum to clean out the jar. She's quite good at getting all the stuff out. And then I can just keep my lid, or I might just keep the lid because I'm bound to get another candle this size, ain't I, throughout the year. But yes, 4 .99, what a bargain. And now that leaves me, I don't know what this is. I don't know what it is. I thought I picked up three candles. No idea. Well, it's like we're going to find out together. Oh my God. How did I forget this? This was the whole reason I went to HomeSense because I'd seen this, I think, end of October. So we went the week before lockdown. So end of October, early November. And I was just like, I need it. And mum was like, don't get it because you're bound to see another style that you like. And I was like, okay, didn't see anything. When I went back in, obviously this is what it was for. Oh my God. You know, I love a snow globe, yeah? This was 9 99 you know my love for like gingerbread? Have you ever seen a more perfectly fitting snow globe? I mean, let's give it a good shake, shall we? <gasps> Look! Oh, it's like a baking gingerbread, fantastic snow globe, and I love it. I'm not gonna lie, I think if I remember correctly now, there were some with like Santas and polar bears. Could have got very carried away, but I think snow globes will be something I'll buy every year. And then I will obviously have a collection. But yeah, I thought just just the one. Well, mum wouldn't let me get any more than one to be perfectly honest. She started to become not a Scrooge, but after the week before lockdown when we done all the shopping, so like we went Asda, got the new tree, went range to get the decorations, got all of these bits and bobs. It was kind of like, right, come on now. Like, you've had enough, I was like. <laughs> Don't rain on my parade, my festivities. Right, our last two bits, and not gonna lie, yes, these are my favorite. We've got a set of chocolate coffee liqueurs. So we've got a Cuban coffee, a French coffee, a Mexican coffee, and an Irish coffee. RRP was $4.99, and we picked these up for $1.99. I did pick these up primarily for my dad, just as like a little stocking filler, a little bulking out present, because I probably won't be eating these. No, I don't really like coffee, like pure coffee. Like when we went to Mexico and Cuba, you can get like pure espresso coffee and mm -mm, I'm not about that. Give me like a cappuccino or a latte or a frostino, but not pure coffee. These on the other hand, you will know my love at Christmas time for the aperitif called Bailey's. So when I saw Butler's Chocolate Masters since 1932, so they've got to be doing something good to still be in business, Irish Cream Truffles, and that was only 2 dollars you best believe that they went straight in the trolley. Stuff like this, like the liqueur chocolates and bits and bobs, that perfect little stocking fillers, or as I say, like Secret Santa, if you've got a Christmas Eve box, you do that with your parents or your family or your partner. I think they had ones like gin, rum, I did see a rum one, but I thought, no, I'll stick with the good old traditional Irish cream. Um, vodka, they had as well. They had so many different choices. I normally do get the Baileys one, but at the moment, I can only get the Baileys salted caramel ones, and... I'm not really a fan of salted caramel, so I thought these have a good little substitute at the moment until I find me proper Bailey's ones. And two ninety nine. Well, these are probably going to get eaten during lockdown, and then once we're back open and running, hopefully before Christmas, I can pop down and get myself another couple of boxes. Let's just say. And that, my lovelies, is our home since Christmas haul done. <laughs> So, that is the second Home Sense haul on the channel. Not gonna lie, I don't really go to Home Sense much in the year. Um, may pop in there for the odd candle if I'm running low 
which I never am. I'm just going in there to be nosy and get another candle, really. But autumn and winter and Christmas, I absolutely love home scents. I am hoping to go back once it is up and running, just to see if they've got any, any little new bits, but definitely no decorations. I don't need that. Don't need candles. I do want a nice plate though. You would have seen in the Home Sense Autumn slash Halloween haul, I got a really nice dinner plate with a skull on, which when we'd done our baking was like my little serving plate. Up. And I did see uh, on one of my friend's Snapchats, just before they shut down, they had a Christmas tableware set. So maybe I'll end up going there and just getting one dinner plate. Who thinks I could resist the temptation? Who knows, 2021, I'm gonna try. And refrain from not buying pointless stuff but hey ho I mean a girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do <laughs> so if you did enjoy the video you know what to do guys hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below and leave me a comment of your best bit or have you got any little hidden gems from home sense and just turn on that notification bell you're not going to be wanting to miss this week every single day uploads from me with hauls to celebrate black friday week of course we're just chucking in a bit of the festivities as well what else is there not to love eh anyway my lovelies take care and i will see you all in the next video